Chicago Speed, and you're listening to the MBS Show. Speed on, everybody. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 62. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Good evening, Norman. How are you, Daniel? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you, fine, thank you. So, how was your day? My day was pretty okay. I don't know why I was lethargic all morning. Something about the dinner last night. <laughs> okay. So, I heard you got a new toy. Ah, oh, yes, I did. Got myself a new laptop, finally. So there it goes on my excuses for not being able to do work for you anymore. Yes, but with new toys means new doing stuff on it. Responsibilities. Oh, if you say so. So anyway, let's move on to the guests. And our guest for this week is Shikari Speeder or Nathan Barlow. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing today? Hi, Nathan or Shikari. How, how would you like us to address you? Any name is fine. You can call me Shikari Speeder, Nathan Barlow, I don't mind. Any name is perfect with me, guys. I'm all good. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I like Nathan because it sounds like Nathan Fillion from Uncharted 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember. I heard that on the internet. I was like, Nathan? Because I remember um, someone actually tried to call me by my first name beforehand when I was... Um, out and about ages, this was ages back, you know, a good couple of years, and um, I had to go and uh, do for um, a job meeting thing, because I'm, I'm unemployed at the moment, so I'm just, I used to go up there to check on and see if there's any jobs and whatever. like that. And when it comes to that, <laughs> coming to give me letters to notify when I got to go on what job date, they should keep spelling my name wrong. <laughs> it's just to put it as Nathan, not Nathan. <laughs> she messes the H every time. <laughs> it's oh, it's just, it just makes my day. It really does, you know. <laughs> okay, well, well that, that's different. Okay. So, before we start the show, Nathan, we need to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, who is your favorite pony? Oh, this is a very evil question, my friend. <laughs> true, true. Ooh, excellent. <laughs> um, well, as you can see, like, I'm pretty much random and, you know, happy and you know, always like to cheer people up as long as I go, you know, if people are down. So I have to definitely go and say Pinkie Pie because, well, like I said, she resembles, because she, she resembles me kind of most ways. Like, uh, like she has a pig side and she has a happy side. Same with me. Like, I feel happy and you sometimes feel depressed, you know. I, I get through hard times, like, you know, if I would bullied, etc. And you know I'm, you know, all that normal stuff. Uh, it always happened way back before, but now it's everything different. But when I see people getting bullied in that, I'm just like, well, I can't just let them down, you know, to see them sad. So it's always great to cheer them up, you know, to give them high good spirits. Also, a good point as well, I like, I like always parties because I always love to go out and party with everyone, you know, like, well, like, go out, sing karaoke, have a good time with your friends, you know, stuff like that. So I, I kind of have that kind of element, like, so... But okay. not only that, I also have a kind of, uh, I do kind of um, with uh, Derby, because Derby's a great background pony as well, just to let us, oh, and I know people being been having problems, you know, like say, oh, you know, you could say disability-wise, but I got disability too, and there's nothing wrong with having Derby in the show. I mean, she's a wonderful pony, you know, she's like a best friend to every pony, you know, it's the <laughs> same with Pinky. <laughs> so, you know. Okay, yeah. so uh, moving on to the next question, um, what's your favourite episode? Well... The one episode, if I can recall, it has to be out of season two. My favorite episode will definitely have to be Family Appreciation Day because um, I live with my nan and she has Parkinson's disease and I have dystonia, which is like a younger version of Parkinson's disease. And my nan has always been there for me and my mom and my family and... You know, they've they been won- she's wonderful, like, and I'm, I'm looking after her, kind of, like, so I'm living with her to make sure she's all right and on her own, like. And with the episode in mind, it just teaches you a lot about, like, you know, the grandparents, like, you know, they're, no matter what you think they are, they could be, like, kooky or cranky or whatever, they're very wise, and they, you know, they really have great lives, and they always love to pass it down to generation to generation, and they're lovable grandparents, like, you know, it's like, it does teach one good rule as well, never disrespect grandparents, because I would never disrespect my nan or my 
done us because, like, like I said, I had my granddad passed away a few years ago, and you know, I my nan has been bent down ever since. But you know, I've always been there for her, like, because you know, that's the thing. Family is important, really important in life these days. So true, I true. usually put family beforehand. You yeah, know, that's true. That's to true. look after him and hey, bro. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Even even for me, like everything, family is first. Um, the show is second, and family always goes first before the show. <laughs> but so, <Yeah>. I, <laughs> wow, I, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, it's kind of on the bar, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But I, I mean, I have like a lot of friends that are all right there. But um, you know, not only like it's been part of the fandom. I always like to stay home and to be there for my nan and my family because you know my family means the whole world to me. So like, because I have a, I have my, my mom, I have three sisters and a little brother, and my little brother was deaf, and the uh, you know I like I say that's a thing because like, I thought he would have been deaf for the rest of his life but thanks to a hospital yeah. who um, specialised in cotton implants you know they gave my little brother cotton implants I want to thank them so much for this because if they didn't do that my little brother wouldn't be able to hear a sound or be able to speak Nathan uh, how did you become a brony? Well this all started out back on my 23rd birthday I was um, <laughs> with my fiance. we went out to my local pub we go out karaoke in you know have a drink with friends and when I got home on the one night, I was completely, you know, like, I feel like, I felt like that, I, there's something missing in my life, like, that something, because, you know, well, this, this is all started out as well, there's something else to tie in as well with this as well, it's a little story, but it was about my, my little pet, but uh, I'll have to, not little cute pet shop, you know, <laughs> but, you know, it's the base of my very first pet I had, um, but uh, the thing is, when I was uh, on my 25th birthday, I got home, uh, I had a cup of tea and then I, I went on the internet and I was like, oh no, oh, well, it'd probably the same thing. Cause I, I love to watch a lot of that anime and video games as well. You know, I play video games like Sonic, Mega Man, Zelda, Metroid, you name it, all the great classics. Um, and, and then I just popped on Google to have a look and see animation because I love anime. And then all of a sudden, ponies just stopped popping everywhere. And I was like, oh, hang on, this couldn't be one of those good virus just by any chance it's like gone by <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden I just go on YouTube and they pop in there with two it's like what is going on here <laughs> it's like it's like we have been invaded <laughs> it's like I know invasion gone viral oh ponies I'll take over the world <laughs> they're actually crazy but uh, <laughs> but no so when I got look I was like and then it showed My Little Pony and I was like well, yeah, of course, I wouldn't understand because My Little Pony was for girls, obviously, because it was toys. I used to go and shop everywhere and I would see the toys on My Little Pony. And like, well, I don't find anything wrong, then they look cute. I mean, if collectible-wise, like, anime's got collectibles and they are make uh, cute things, so I don't see anything wrong. It's like kind of the anime thing. But now it's even a bit more. And then they had uh, a video showing bronies. And it was amazing. Like, and I, like, I thought I was the only one who liked the show, to be honest, because I started watching the first, Same I was like, here. watch. Exactly. I thought I was the only first... one as well. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, my friend. See my hands and webs, my friend. <laughs> yeah, um, and then also I heard about bronies, but then when I heard about what well, Fox did, they put out their so-called, uh, you know, their own idea of what it is, and they, 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 just, they just totally just taking them out of bronies, and that had gone too far, because since I'm not the only one, I don't find anything wrong with cute things. Like, you know, my sisters and I, and I always have, like, cuddly toys and, and stuff. And, you know, I'm like, I, I love cute things. Like, um, Cartoon Network, for example, the Powerpuff Girls. Best cartoon ever. Not only that, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Johnny Bravo, Dex's Laboratory, and the list can go on and on. I love those cartoons. If it weren't for those cartoons, you know, I, I wouldn't really understand, like, you know, like my pony, because I didn't know that Lauren Faust created Power Girls, and I didn't even know that Tara Strong voiced Bubbles. Not until I started getting a little dig deeper into the My Little Pony thing, checking out, and then I went and checked in credits. I said, Tara Strong, Lauren Faust, I was wondering that. And then I found out that the Tara voiced Bubbles, and she also voiced Raven the Teeth Titans. I was like, oh my gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> I had the same and, thing as uh, well. Dude, you and I have the same Brody story. Really? Ah, oh, epic Brody. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, no, no. That, that is yeah. just amazing. That's just amazing. So, um, Nathan, I, moving on to the next question. Uh, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Well, 
kind of a bit of a difference. They don't hate me because I like good things. They always know I like cartoons and stuff, you know, and they're a wonderful family. And my friends usually, well, because, you know, all my friends are like, you know, football, rugby, you know, all the manly stuff. Like, like I am as well, because I love football and rugby, because I usually go to the pub, have a drink, watch football. Like, it was on one little weekend, depending, like, just to see what's on. Like, and I told the uh, all the drinkers in it because they like my uncle used to go to um, the pubs that I go to and it's only just across the street for me and I just go in there like I just socialise that's the best thing because where I'm around there's not like much entertainment like arcade and stuff so you know that's the reason why but when I um, when I told the, my friends and my family it's like you know well I like my pony my, my sisters and I was like okay <laughs> Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but then when I when I when I started, um, we got on the posters for Kiki's uh, charity because uh, I was I showed them the art I was doing, and then I was showing the episode. I slowly and, and I one some of my sisters, like a um, two sisters of mine, they, they just loved it, and they they wanted more of my artwork. Is that how you said me some more? Because I was I was also creating colorless versions of the posters itself, it was like creating you know coloring posters so you can color in yourself. Nice. Uh, with every set, and, um, and they wanted more, and oh, it was so, it was so adorable. Because, like, like I say, like you know, I know my sister, so I only like a few things as well. But not only that, it's great to share, you know, like artwork and stuff to help make people smile. It's, it's like if you make kids smile, you make everyone's happy. You know, it's just it makes me happy too. You know, same thing. You know, best to be happy rather than be sad. True, but, you know, true, that's why I was true, saying. True. And uh, yeah, 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 that. But when I told my friends about it, they like, ah, oh, yeah, it's only like girl shows. But they, they don't hate me for it. They they love me anyway. They still think I'm a great mate anyway. It's just, like, when I showed them what I was doing, like, I told them I was, you know, working on this for Kiki Shaggy because she had, you know, she had the brain tumor. And they, they understood. And, you know, they were all right with it. And they didn't find anything wrong with that. I didn't think it was a good thing. Let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is housekeeping. I got nothing, Dan. Nope, nothing oh. here as well. Okay, let's move on. We <laughs> This is... Well, you can, you can talk it. about ponies. I mean, ponies sound good. <laughs> yep, yep. And the next topic is news time. Talking about news about Coming ponies. Coming soon, my friend. Coming soon. <laughs> True indeed. So anyway, in today's news time, the next set of pony plush from Billabay Workshop is going to be Princess Twilight and Spike. If you have ever seen a pony plush from Billabay Workshop, you know how big they can be and how cuddly they can get. The previous set of pony plush were Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie. And now, the next batch of plush are going to be Princess Twilight and Spike. Images of the Princess Twilight and Spike plush were discovered in Build-A-Bear product image archives. The images have not been made public. According to Build-A-Bear workshop employees from various locations, the plush that was supposed to accompany Princess Twilight was supposed to be Fluttershy. Pictures can be found in the show notes. So, Dan, what do you think? Uh, actually, this is the first time I'm looking at the Build-A-Bear plushie. I never had a chance to have a good look at the plushie alone on a nice white background, and it's much more cuddly than I expected it to be. Speaking from personal experience, uh, they're kind of big, and they're, well, let's just say they're perfect for a kid to touch. Actually, Norman, about how big is the plushie? Can you give us an example or a combina- comparison? Well, um, from what they say, it's about 16 inches tall. So it's kind of big and not bad. I have to say, if you stand it side by side, it will reach your calf. Ooh. Yeah, kind of big. Nice and big. Yeah. And also you can insert scent in the middle of their chest to give that strawberry smell. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good and pretty interesting. What do you think, Nathan? One thing i got to say, i got to buy them. Because um, I had uh, bought a Pinkie Pie Builder Bay plushie from Cardiff because I went with my fiance and she's got a Rainbow Dash plushie because she doesn't watch the show but she loves to collect cute things. So I thought with My Little Pony it'd be a great thing to like you know you know start collecting in that. So like, I'm not much of a collector myself, you know. I mean I I I probably like you know like to create artwork and you know to talk with everyone, make new friends and stuff. If I had to get Twilight and Spike, my fiance would just grab them and just buy them before I do and it would be not fair I'd be like no <laughs> no anyway uh, from what I see here my reaction yeah from, yeah. What, from what I see here the whole um, Twilight thing I, I don't know I, I think Hasbro is really wanting to push um, to push the info out there that 
uh, toilet yeah. is in Ethicon I, now. I, I, I mean, like, I can understand, like, Hasbro is the business of the company, and like you say, is up there more they got to do, and like I say, it's the same, like, when I heard about your question, girls, I was pretty, pretty surprised, I was like, wow, this, this could be very good, interesting, because, like, the, we only have a pony universe, but what about human world? I mean, that would be pretty cool. I mean, I would, I haven't even seen the movie yet. Because I don't think they'll be out of cinemas over here now. But, uh, you know, if I had the chance to take my sisters and my fiancé and go and watch it, I would. I mean, I have nothing wrong with the the whole Alec Horn thing and also the Equestrian <laughs> Girls. I mean, Hasbro creates a lot of amazing things like Little Scoop, um, Pet Shop and Battleship. And let's move on to the next news topic. Daniel, why did you take this one? Okay. And the Equestria Girls website is now live. There's a link in the show notes. And a while back, we mentioned that the Equestria Girls will be screening in theatres this June. And it looks like the website is up and running. There is a little content given on the site. You know, it's just a little graphic only. But more info will be coming this June. Once again, you can find the links in the show notes. So, Norman, you've heard what I have to say about Equestria Girls. What's your take on this website? Well, it's rather bare bone. Nothing much can be said, really. It's just a website trying to promote the movie. Um, I think more info would be given once it's close to uh, screen time. But all in all, um, I don't know what to say. It's interesting. I'll give it a shot when it's out. I hope. I, I don't think so. It's becoming in theaters. Um, what do you think, Nathan? Well, I am pretty psyched because I, I've only seen it. I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet, but I really will go and have a look on it later because I've seen um, teasers of it through Equestria Daily and they the news and I was like, ooh, new website, eh? Excellent. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Well, so te- I am pretty happy with that, to be honest. Te- technically speaking, there's nothing much there. It's just a teaser picture of Twilight Sparkle standing in front of a mirror. <laughs> that, that's about yeah, it. That deadly mirror we talked about a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, God, snows. <laughs> Oh, the memes, my friend. The memes! <laughs> yeah, true. But I think there's nothing much we can say about this. But one thing one thing I can say is that there's going to be a movie out in theatres. That I am surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised too as well. Because uh, that's one thing I want to watch. Because like I say, like, I would take my sisters and my fiancé with me to go watch it. Because like I say, my fiancé and my sisters always love watching like like cartoon movies. Like, you know, like, like this was like Disney, for instance. Because like, I love Disney films. And like with what they create now as a movie, I am super psyched. I've got to watch it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, I too just to put my mind to rest because is this going to suck or is this going to be awesome? So, well, uh, from what I heard from the show creators, they say that they did hard work and they did the best that they could. So, Absolutely. I mean, th- like this is the thing. Look, I mean, I know there's people been like, hating it. Oh, like, you know, you're going to ruin the fandom and stuff like that. Oh, I'm going to leave the fandom. <laughs> I'm like, no, you don't. I mean... <laughs> Come on, I mean, I would never leave the fandom. It's a brilliant fandom I've ever been a part of, and it's one of the first I've actually been a proper part of, because if the friendship, the, the ties, the bonds, the happiness that people care, even with the artwork, the music, the creativity, and, you know, and, and also connecting it with the show cast and the everyone in the world, it's just absolutely amazing. Like, this is the thing with celebrities now. I know people think of them like, oh, this is awesome, I, so I'm a fan, and that, but then that's the thing, like, you know, they're, not, they're, they're human like us too, like, you know, if I say them, like, Tara and everyone, I would speak to normal people, like, ah, how are you doing, like, you know, it's, it's new friends, like, I, I got really surprised when they did a lot of stuff for the show, and it was just amazing talent, what they do is because of creativity, and creativity is the main important part of the whole process, because it's so amazing, and these people are wonderful, and they're wonderful, amazing, they're funny, and, you know, I would love to meet them all. I would really love to. True, so, true. You and us both, man. You and us both. <laughs> I know. I mean, I would love to meet Tara. I would love to meet uh, Army and Kiki and Mimi. Because, like I said, I did tell the Army I would love to, like, come over to Quest LA sometime. But I doubt I couldn't make it to this one's, uh, this year's one. Because, you know, it's money-wise. I'm still trying to hopefully get a passport on the visas and go places. And to save the money to travel because I know people on Twitter like, oh, we're doing the Indiegogo campaign field. Like, no, no, no. 
I can get it myself, don't worry. You don't have to go for the trouble of putting an Indiegogo campaign for me to go places. I can make it in my own time because like, I've got family to look after as well and I want to make sure they're all right because where around I live is a rough place and you know what I mean. It could be trouble and the changelings and the power sprites could be all about, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> true, 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 true. Uh, so, you know, so, said, the visa is the big problem, you know, even for us, especially mm-hmm. for us, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is guest time, and this is your moment, Nathan. So, um, Nathan, are you having fun? Yeah, oh, fun! The fun has been doubles. Oh. <laughs> okay. So anyway, Nathan, mind telling us who you are and what you do to the people who might not know who you are? My name's Nathan Barlow. I am pretty much one of the partiers. I I love to go out and cheer people up and live the life of the nature. So. And I, I love anime, I love video games, like all the indie and all the old classics, games like Sonic, Mega Man, etc. Uh, not only that, I, like, I got a lot of inspiration from Little like, Pony and from the like, creators, like uh, Lauren Faust, for instance, because her artwork inspired me to create these posters. And not only that, is to, to actually create it to help everyone out like you know like kiki's charity for instance and also to help cheer people up if they're down in times because i never like to see people sad or down because i i've been bullied myself a long time because i had like adhd and dystonia and it's been really really pressurizing on me and you know and to be honest it was really heartbreaking to me because like I had good friends where I was growing up in like nursery and that but then they went to different schools and I had to go to specialised schools because you know apparently that's the only way they could talk because they didn't know what I had and I got bullied relentless because people didn't understand what I had and they pretty much are jerks and you know what I mean it's just yeah, yeah. I, I, and I see other people like with autism and that around where I live like you know in Wales there are a lot of people being bullied with autism and they're lovely people and you know this is the thing with people if you don't get what we have then you just leave us alone because that's just the one thing I want to say because there are many people over there with disabilities and we've been bullied non-stop and it's going to stop because I do not tolerate bullying one stop like Nicole Love has said she would never tolerate bullying I never would even tolerate it one full stop these haters and trolls, you know, forget them. I'm here for you, and so is everyone in the fandom. You're not on your own anymore, you know? True, true. So, I mean, yeah. like, every one of us, honestly, every one of us has been bullied at a time or mm. so. Yes. And we, we handle it in our own ways. But yeah. being bullied just because you're different and you're strange or whatever it is, it's no yeah. fun. It's like, it's not fair. It's like, what did I do? True. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, we haven't done anything wrong. Like, you know, we just like to live life for now. And then people just say, oh, I'll pick on you because we find it funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's, like, it's, oh, it's kind know? of rolling with the punches, but sometimes you can push a person too far. And yeah, when, when you're yeah when you're younger yeah. or your mind is not in, well, let's just say when you're not mature enough, you can't handle it well. And let's just say bad things happen. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I never love violence. And to be honest, I would never resolve to violence because violence is not the answer on most if, to solve anything. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm a peace lover, not a fight, but I mean, but it's just like people, like if my family did get hurt by any of these haters or whatever, you know, all my friends, you know, I have to stick in. It does go too far. I have no choice because that's the thing. I wish that violence never existed because that's the point. But it's going to exist anyway because that's the same thing like with war and everything. It's going to exist one way or another. So you can't stop it. True, true, but, uh, true, true. you know, but um, that's the thing. Like, it's also something to do with, like, duty as well. Like, like the, 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 the parents know they think, oh, they're going to take them, the, you know, because they're taking offence, like, because it's like taking offence to people with mental disability and that. No. And it does then because because what I heard I heard news that Lauren Faust was actually creating a episode that'll be focused on disabilities and I would love it if it would focus on Derby because she is a great pony and I don't see anything wrong with her. And like like she's a best friend to all. That's true, you know? True. true. I mean yeah, like, she, like she's like clumsy and I, I that's the same as me. Like, you know, I wanna be a friend for everyone, but you can't always be a friend to everyone, you know? I know people think you're different, etc. and stuff. But, you know, Derby's an amazing, wonderful character. And I don't, like, say she resembles me as well, you know? Yeah, I understand, like, I understand. I mean, because I've gone through the same thing. Like, like if people are going to, like, neglect that, it's, 
Because Derby has done nothing wrong, you know? Yeah, and it's true, true. true. <laughs> but still, sometimes haters are going to hate, but uh, those idiots, they can go bug themselves. So, anyway, Nathan, let's... <laughs> well <laughs> let's, <said. laughs> let's move on to a happier note. So, um, I'm looking at your DeviantArt gallery here, and my goodness, you do a lot of posters, a lot. I've, I've totaled up, if the count is wrong, I've got about up to around 600 pieces of artwork. Oh, which my. Wow. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's more, than, <laughs> that's yeah. more than what I do. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing is, though, because I, I had to go for re things, so I want to make sure that everything's nice and perfect and lovely, and you want to make sure it's the right size so it doesn't, like, feel a bit more different every time you print them out. So, but... Uh, like, I've already re-updated the main six posters, and just now, in the, the last few days, I've just fully created um, Spikes and Tara Strong's OC Ponies posters. And I also did Kiki and uh, created Kiki's and Mimi's OC posters as well. Oh. Uh, they're all up to date. And now, for each set, there'll be 12 pieces of artwork. You'll have five posters, four which will be... One with text, no light thing, and then you have one with text, and then the other one will be the delicious poster, which will be with shades and a smile, and you know, and you have the same. And then the fifth poster would be um, a coloring poster because I thought, well, people, I just understand kids love coloring. I love coloring, you know, and I thought, well, this will be great for addition, like if it could help in charity, like, or like, to how about hospitals like Great Ormond Street Hospital? where I was diagnosed for my ADHD and that, because when I heard the news what happened last year, there were a couple of thugs that robbed the hospital of all three DSs. Oh, yeah. yeah, they were supposed to be for the um, uh, terminal, uh, short-term and long-term uh, kids there, mm-hmm. and it broke my heart. I'm thinking, I, was evil. This, I know there's going to be evil in the world, but that is just not cool, you yeah. know? And, I, 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 and when I heard the Sun, which is our newspaper we got in the UK, they... Um, they uh, they donated as much as they could, and they donated a lot for the um, to the hospital, and they're really amazing. And I want to do the same thing too. I want to help them, like for all the kids out there in the world and all the people who really need help. I want to help them because if no one's not going to help them, who will? You know, I mean, I can't just sit and do nothing. You know, it's just it's not like only me. I know there's like the Bronies doing now for Kiki's charity and everyone. You're doing a lot of great, amazing things, and. You know, never stop it because if you're doing a lot of great things, that is a great way to go. You know, it's a really good thing to go on, like Future Path, etc. Yeah, that's true. You know, sort of a babbling on, but... Uh, so, you know, no problem, no problem. Uh, so anyway, yeah. uh, Nathan, I was wondering, you draw all this art, what do you use? Um, I use a free vector art program, which a friend of mine let me know on Twitter when I first started on Twitter back in about around June last year. Uh, I forgot his name. I'm sorry, but you warned my followers. I know, I, yeah, Inkscape. That's the one. Yes. Well, that Ken, is it. Are you a mind reader or something? How do you know? Ah, because I know a lot of great artists use it as well. If they, well, like I say, I know if a Photoshop and Illustrator are really expensive to buy, but for a free factor art program like Inkscape, it's really great. But the, people may say, I heard some people say, oh, you don't want to get it because it'll slow up your PC or whatever. But it, for me, it's my PC is the PC itself. It's getting old. So, you know, it will be slow sometimes to use it. But it's a great program to teach a lot of vector artists out there, you know, to learn to create, you know, different artwork. Because, like I say, with that, I think that's like when they first started, like, like with My Little Pony as well, like they also use Flash and that to create. But I can understand it would be amazing to use Inkscape as well to help create, like, designs of the show and that. Yeah, I mean, true. so I, mean, I thought, well, I could create something like this. And when I used Inkscape, I created my first poster for Kiki, uh, which was the the heart. Well, I would say the first poster I've created would be the Elements of Harmony uh, poster, which was like you get the six elements, um, cute marks, you know, like you, they had the necklaces and you had the other the emblems and all. Yeah. And uh, I did it for Kiki, and I, you know, like I thought, well, you know, because if it was no money, if I can donate, at least it'd be great to donate some artwork to. You know, to to keep to army to help out to some charity to raise money for Kiki because she really needs all the money she can get. So, Ronies out there, if you can, please give anything you can and help out as best you can to help this little girl survive. Because you know she deserves a future, and you everyone deserves a future. You know, true, so, true, true, true. She needs yeah. all the help that she can get. Mm-hmm, definitely. Like I mean, Army's a lovely person. You know, he's a loving father for his kids. Uh, especially Lena's lovely wife and the mother to the kids as well. And 
they're just a loving family, and I just I hate to see a lot of heartbreak. You know, to see you know Kiki be strapped in bed with all the things like that. Yeah, I understand. It's, it's yeah, sorry, it was... I don't want to go out crying. No problem, no problem. I mean, I, I get what you mean. Like, uh, my dad's currently in hospital for surgery, and looking at him right there, he's been there for a week right now because you know he's healing from it and stuff like that. I understand what that feels like, really, and I, mean, I, I honestly believe that. Really, I don't want to see anyone else in that position. I know it's like it's like like my family mean the whole world to me. I don't want to see any one of them to be in it. A situation like that, it's just, I, I couldn't take it, you know, I just, to one thing. I, I mean, like, when I go to Tara, I don't know everything. Like she said, she was always there for us, even would be bullied at times, you know. I'm, I'm happy, you know, because she's always there for us. It's understandable, it's understandable. Let, let, let's move on, <laughs> let's move on. So, um, Dan, any questions? All right, then, so Nathan, yeah, just a few questions from me, yeah? Yeah, shoot, my friend, go for it. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so uh, basically when you became a brony, the first thing that appealed to you in the show, I mean, since you did mention about being bullied and of course you're not, you not, you, that you wouldn't stand for bullying at all, how did you find, you know, My Little Pony? Be- did you find it an inspiration or did you find it, you know, it a way was, of support or, a, yeah, you know, uh, something like that? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing support. I mean, it's not only that, it's the fandom itself that gave support because... There were other people who have been bullied the same as me. I know that, like you guys have, and I understand. And, you know, I meet a few anyway. And that's the great thing about it, because what I've learned from the show is that it, it shows a lot of life lessons, and it really does. No matter even if it was for kids or for adults, matter, it's a show for everyone. And I can say that straight off, no matter on what, sex, gender, etc. you know. I mean, it's for all of us. And um, the best thing about it is that it shows a lot of positivity in it. And that's the thing we need in this world. There's a lot of positivity, never negativity. So sometimes you'll have dark and you'll have evil and that, and you'll have Paris Brights and the cause havoc. And yeah, it does kind of it resembles what our world's like. And, it's, um, and it really does teach me a lot. Like it taught me that, you know, that sometimes, you know, you know, if you have been bullied, you know, your friends will always be there to protect you no matter what. Like, and it's always great to stand up for your friends and, you know, to have a great life for them and enjoy and to be happy and make a lot of new friends. It taught me a lot and it just really, really, to be honest, it made me broke down in happy tears because, you know, after I've watched quite a lot and it's just really wonderful. It just warms your heart up every time you see one episode and then when it comes to a letter sent to Princess Celestia, it just really touches you. It really does. The show itself is really special because it touches us, most of us, at an emotional level where we don't really think about it that much because, well, it's a show, but once we sit down and think about it or think about the show, then it's like, oh, that's really deep. Yeah, Yeah. that's true. That's very true. I mean, it's like the same thing um, when I just, you know, it's like the same thing was like, you know, you always have those lovely cartoons, warm cartoons, like that Snow White and that, like in Disney, and and they always have that sadness. And it just warms your heart as well, the end. With a lovely ending and stuff, it's just beautiful. So <laughs> uh, it's true. It's true. Uh, so sometimes life has its ups and downs, and well, without the downs, you never have the ups. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's a balance. Yeah. It's a karma thing. So yeah, it's yeah. a true thing. I mean, like, sure, you're gonna have like, oh, you have trouble on the one end, but then on the other side, you know, like I always say, like from Monty Python, the greatest <laughs> comedy ever in the UK. Always <laughs> look on. Right side of life, and I always still will. <laughs> oh, I love that scene. Very good. I know. I know. I heard apparently. Well, I, I heard on the news that Michael Palin was on the news earlier, and I think apparently it may be a new Monty Python. I'm only saying this could be a rumor. But as far as I know, there could be a new one. I would love to see another Monty Python because all of them are classic. Well, I can't uh, wait, man. I can't wait. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can wait too. I'll wait until the entire universe expands <laughs> to the end of the reaches, of course. But, uh, <laughs> you know, okay, okay. I would just love to see another one. It's just great. Yeah. So, Nathan, moving on to the non-so-serious questions. Um, yep. What video games do you like to play? Oh, video games. Uh, Daddy brought that up because I love playing Sonic, Mega Man, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, you know, and all the other games like Zelda, Metroid, uh, Mario. And so, lot games. I, I usually play the most classics, like the Mega Drive games, like Sonic, for instance, because those games really give me a lot of fun. And it's the same goes with the entire season, you know, with new games like Sonic Generations. Um, then you got Kingdom Hearts, like yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, which are the only games I've only played. 
since I couldn't play the other one since I didn't have a PSP or a 3DS, like, you know, Birth by Sleep and the 209 Days and that. Because I had a DS, but I didn't buy the um, 309 uh, Days game, you yeah. know, that one. It's hard to remember the numbers! <laughs> oh, let's just say the Kingdom Hearts for the 3DS, because that's what's... I best. find that impossible. This is why I don't play Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Don't tell me. The, oh, Final Fantasy for me... Best game ever to me ever on PS2, Final Fantasy X. Music, gameplay, replay value, absolutely amazing. Totally awesome. I love it. It's the, that's the thing with the games like RPGs. I love it in that system, but when they got the Final Fantasy XIII version, it got a bit more confusing, <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so, I know, uh, I know. But, uh, I recently bought Final Fantasy VIII for the PSN. And we oh. playing through that one, and well, let's just say that uh, I used to love it, <laughs> <laughs> but then you tend to hate it. <laughs> oh yes, but no, I, I I hate some parts of it, but I love some parts of it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's the it's the downside of growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling, my friends. You're not on your own. <laughs> true, true. Oh, yeah. So Nathan, um, Ritz, uh, you you told me before that you enjoy taking walks in nature. So um, could you explain? Me? Yeah. Could you tell me about well, that? Well, I live I live in the valleys. I do in South Wales, and you know you get you a have lot free of country, forest, like, sense, right? <laughs> exactly true. Very true. <laughs> Danny Boy, it's like it's like even with Fluttershy. Like I I kind of have a friends with Fluttershy because I love animals. I you know we, we got. Horses, ducks, cats, dogs, um, you know, chickens and stuff around here, like farms and that. And it's just wonderful to see a lot of animals and a lot of hills and with trees. It's just so wonderful. But also with nature, I mean, like, I love to take care. Because I had my first cat, Socks. Um, he was my first cat and he had, um, he was a brown and white cat. He had white paws. So basically we call him Socks because like, he looked like Socks, you know. Oh, and yeah. it's yeah, but the, not only that, it's, it's a good reason to explain how I came across my um, my OC Pony name. Because um, my cat was always there for me no matter when I was bullied and that. And, you know, he always comes and sit on my lap, he poos. And, oh. oh, he's just so adorable and so cute. And then, you know, just happened about a year ago, he sadly passed away because he was getting really old, you know. His oh. wife, was about nine and then oh, he just so passed away. Uh, okay. I, I understand, I understand. I, I, I had. Thought, yeah, it's, and I thought, well, because also with my little pony when I was designed an OC, I thought, well, you know, like, no, no I would passed away, but it's got to be a place for it to exist. Like, you know, they know PSA, Evan and Ellen, and I, yeah, I understand that situation, but I thought, well, why not if I can create an OC pony to to bring him home, like the Equestria? And I thought, well, that's it, I'm going to base my OC pony on my best buddy, Paddle Sox, because he was my. To be honest, he was my very first best friend I've ever had. It's me in my entire life. So I wow. never made a lot of friends when I was bullied and I, you know. And because I know I had a lot of good old um, local friends. Because all my real best friends, like they were in different schools, look like, apart from me. And I had to go to a hell of a lot of different schools because, you know, because like I had ADHD and it was hard to tell which school would be best for me. Because I still got bullied a lot, and people wouldn't understand See. it. It was just living hell. So, but you know, I'm just so happy that. But, you know, my best buddy is existing in question. Like, I, I'll create myself an OC, but I thought I'd create Socks an OC pony. So, basically, it's my cat's OC pony. <laughs> it's his OC pony. It's, it's his pony form. So, you know, I'm... <laughs> that, 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 know. that is different and uh, really heart-touching. Seriously, that, that, yeah. that, that is yeah. really special. And uh, not only that, I... I really, really understand this because all of us in the show tonight are all cat people. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I, know. Cat. I have a cat. You have a cat. Yeah, yeah, but there's also one good reason as well because I keep thinking these ponies are like cats. Do you know what's happening? Got that young isn't they? Got the pointy ears. They're like cats. So I thought this would be perfect. You know, this is like a crafted a pony, but cat style. You know, my cat's cat. And obviously, it's true. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I had so, a I had a friend who confused the ponies for cats, and I just yeah, yeah oh, whatever. <laughs> How do? Uh, I don't know, but she does. <laughs> yeah, but what claws? I don't know. I know, but don't. Yeah, but have yeah, a, a good luck, though. They have cats and with that cute nyan teeth. They just look so cute and adorable, like cats. So no matter if they have hooves, they're still cuddly and cute, like cats. You know? True, 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 true. Yeah. 
Uh, not only that, i got to mention, my user, uh, my OC pony name, uh, Shikari Speeder, I based her off because I love this band, Enter Shikari. Now, just for warning, if there's any kids listening, yeah, be warned because there's a, a little bad language in it, you know, because it's like one of those, it's up to the 21st century style of rock music and techno, so, you know, um, but it's really good techno screamo music and it's really good because they, they, the band itself lives around near where I live, but just a bit far off. And uh, not only that, I use Speeder as well because uh, Speeder comes from my love for Sonic games. So Nathan, something interests me when you said that you like football, and we're not talking about the American style of football. We're talking about okay. footy. So yeah, um, we talk about yeah. What team do you like? Which team do you support? Oh well, to be honest, I'm an open supporter. I can't just stick for one. I mean, like all teams are great. It's just when you got football hooliganism happening around, it's just not good for an image. True, like true. you know. No, but but uh, personally, but personally, uh, when you watch a match on the telly. About it. When you watch a match yeah. on the telly, uh, who do you support more? Ah, oh, very good question. Well, my mum's a Man United supporter, <laughs> so Manchester supporter. I so, uh, yes, he runs in the blood. I'm a Red Devil supporter too, so... Yeah. Oh, yes. I was on the rest of the day, the MBS show will talk about football. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just begun. <laughs> oh, yes. Another Man United fan. All right, awesome. We are kindred spirits. <laughs> Yes, for the win, my friend, for the win. I know. Awesome. I love football. It's the same with rugby. I love rugby because I always support Wales because Wales are born to win and all teams are brilliant teams, no matter what. True, so, true. You know, win or lose, they're still great rugby players, rugby teams. And, you know, I, I can't wait for the World Cup to show up, the Rugby World Cup, which is probably next year, I think. So I can't wait to watch it. So it'll be on my red shirt, party <laughs> on. Yes. <laughs> true, 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 true. I mean, it's it's sports. Like, uh, no matter who you support, if a goal or yeah, if a goal is a beautiful goal, it's still a beautiful goal, no matter what. Yeah, everybody stands up and claps. Yeah, and yeah. true, true. Yeah, I can imagine. I, if oh, that's one thing I love. If John Joseph Kell could, if she, if he could, um, do like a like um, a rugby like a Wales team, and they're all pony form, and then all of a sudden you just see. My little pony, the main section is less than that. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> when they just kick the goal, and then you just see them all clap, they whoop, she's like, Aah! Oh boy. Yeah. I love that. Since, yeah. you're, since you're all, you know, menu fans in this house, uh, we have a friend that used to be on the show. He's, um, his uh, OC was called, what was it again? Um, I kind of forgot. Dang it. Uh, a final score. Final, final score, score, yeah, final score. And he hmm. played for the team called Manchester United. <laughs> really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, we de- we're definitely going to have to meet up all together and we're going to have to have a good game. Some of us got to. We got to. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, should, true, true. You know what we should yep. do? That should, be, we should, that should be a great thing. We should totally, like, it will help keep his charity now. We should, like, host, like, a football charity match, but we'll have, like, uh, like you know, we can wear our own like OC shirts, like you know, like cutie marks, like you're putting on cutie mark on your um, shirt. Of course. So uh, who's who, and then we can have like our own pony tour event. It'll be amazing. It'll be brilliant. Well, uh, you <laughs> put up the idea. Somebody must have to make it. <laughs> Nathan, was was wondering you. You're in the United Kingdoms, right? Yep, that's true. I live in South Wales, in the heart of the valleys, which is a lovely place, and it's. Bright and beautiful today, apart awesome. from a lot of rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, rain gives so, water, so water is good. So anyway, Nathan, I was wondering, will you go to Buck? Well, for this year, I can't, because in money-wise and job searching wise because I'm unemployed at the moment, and the job beings are what's stopping me from going to these conventions, because uh-huh. i got to attend these, otherwise I won't get the job seekers allowance you know, uh-huh. to help me look for jobs, etc., to live on, basically. And I want to really save up money to go to Buck this year, but, you know, it's also the part of travel as well. It's, travel for me is no problem, it's just it's getting hotel... Uh, tickets as well, and mm. you know, making sure you got money for food and stuff. You know, it's, it's going to be quite a lot, and I want to make sure I have some money as well. So I would love to buy and help out. Like if there's like auctions there, if there's money to help for Kickstarter, I would love to put some money in to help at least. Like if if I didn't win an auction, I would just still put money in. You know, because you know she deserves all the money she get. And but I would love to go to all different conventions. Like I really want to go to Equestria LA. 
No, not how far it is, but in oh, yeah. money wise, well, and job wise, with these meetings, I, uh, with the weekends they've been set on these conventions now, I don't think I can. I'm oh, hoping true. next year I can go to back and to Equestria LA as well, and all different, I'm including BronyCon, <laughs> which I wish I could, but it's just uh, it's just a point of transport, money, and hopefully the job centre and let me off on uh, <laughs> one meeting, which will not be possible yeah. because true. they look. Well, you know, Good, so, uh, good luck for well, the well, then show. you have a nice savings goal to work towards, too. Yeah, I mean, well, I'd love to save up a lot to go, because at the moment I want to save for a laptop, because my piece is going really slow. And I thought, well, if I can get a new laptop, I can start doing a lot of faster work on there. Um, Inkscape on there, new, so I can use webcam as well, Skype, etc. So I can go on the move then with the laptop. So it'd be really mm-hmm. handy to have one. So I'm going to mm-hmm. save up in the next few months. I'm going to go buy a new laptop. So... <gasps> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So anyway, um, Nathan, good luck on the job hunt. So I think those are all the questions. Dan, any more? No, no, uh, no I'm okay. that's good for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> right. Awesome. So let's, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is shout outs. So my shout out goes to you, Nathan. Thank you for being on. Oh, thank you, Norman. Oh, you're brill. Yeah, I want to give a massive shout out to you guys, because you guys do a wonderful radio show, guys. You know, you guys are amazing. So, same goes for every bro in the fandom. So, yeah. But my main shout I'm going to have to go for Deathly for Tara, Strong, uh, Lauren Faust, Army AV and the Havy V's. Um, and I want to give a massive shout out to every Brony in the fan. I know his names. I know because I'm in trouble keep remembering names. But there are also some Brony's I want to give a massive shout out to, and that's to yeah, Tasharina, which is one of your friends as well, I presume. On the uh, sure, yeah, she's she's another co-host. <laughs> Oh, I know. I mean, I, I tell you what, you guys. I mean, we're gonna have to definitely have another one, but this time we gotta have to have Tasha to you know definitely like have a, like an interview. We should have another group call sometime because that'd be great. Yeah, uh, I'll try. I'll try because but, she's rather busy. She's rather busy. Yeah, yeah, because she's a really good friend as well. So you know. Awesome. But not only that, I want to give yeah, a massive shout. Out. Yeah, because I want to give a massive shout out to you guys. I want to give a shout out to. Every free network to all the cast and that, well, all the crew and that who've done wonderful music on all the shows. And you know who you are every now and then. All of you. I mean, talking about Screwy, Dusty Cat, uh, One Trick, Final Draft, uh, everyone in it, you know. And also, Full Paper has got to have a shout out to because he's a good guy. And Brody that, I want to give a massive shout out to Chaotic Brony, uh, Fire Main, um, Mike the Microphone, Mando Pony, Mano Mummy. Brony Mommy, Crimson Firefall, the, everyone, Saber Spa, Paleo. I you know it's too much. I know. I just, oh, I should have written a list down. Oh, it's cool, oh. it's cool. I, I'll just put in as everyone. <laughs> you got it. So, so everyone, mass shout out everyone, because there's a good reason why I want to give a mass shout out for Tara and Lauren, because if it wasn't for them, that, for the shows they created, like Power of Girls and this show as well, I, I, I wouldn't know if. I wouldn't know where it would be, to be honest. I don't know if I would have been still on this planet, to be honest. True, true. You know, I mean, I, I, I went through dark times, and I just don't, you know, it's fact that they saved me. So i got to say, this fandom saved me also. So, you know, I just want to give a massive shout-out to all of you. I love you all so much, and you mean the entire world to me, no matter what. So, thank you. Oh, no so problem, much. no problem. Don't mention it. And I want to give a shout-out to Nicole Oliver, because... Lauren, she's a wonderful person and a brilliant as Princess Celestia. So if I had a massive chance to write a Celestia, I, I would actually do my own letter right now if you want me to, if you want. I could say it now. It would be a quick one. So, Dear Princess Celestia, Today I learned the magic and the true power of friendship. No matter on dark times or whether we've been bullied, we've ridiculed, or whether we feel alone, there will always be someone out there for you and to always be there for you. Friendship is the main thing that lost that well, I could say that helped me through the massive amount of times of feeling alone. But no matter where you are, even if you're far in the world or even far apart, the bonds will always stay strong and you will always be friends no matter what. And that is my true lesson. Well, I'd say a part of the lesson I've only learned, but there will be many to learn in the near future. Your favorite student, Shikari Speeder. Wow, that's beautiful, really well beautiful. Done, well yeah, you're welcome. I, I'm not really good at thinking on this, but uh, I think I can make a huge letter, but <laughs> the problem is it depends <laughs> how much paper. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's understandable how much time Princess Celestia has. <laughs> 
princess. I know, I know, I know. She, Belinda Sarah is a busy princess, so, you know, and same goes for everybody. We're all busy. we got things to do in the life, so, so you know, true, you can't true. always do everything, but you got to be there to work your life through and help the jobs and, you know, be there for everyone, you know? So, true, true, true. It's a great true. job. Oh, and that's a shout-out. I am also, I have to say, it was like, um, I want to give Max a shout for Princess Luna <laughs> for Tabitha Feature Main because oh, there's an awesome sense of as well because I do have a sense of rarity because I always be generous as well because I, like, if it were people that either they're like, oh, here you go, I have some, you know, saying, like, oh, save the money. So I do get a uh, resemble rarity as well because she's a wonderful person, Tabitha. Uh, every time I go on Twitter, she's tweeting a lot. I'm like, yeah, Twitter bony, Twitter bony. <laughs> true, true. It's like, no, if Rarity can work on fashion, she can still tweet at the same time. So it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Awesome. So anyway, yep. Dan, what about you? Any shout-outs to give? Yes, one big shout-out this week to especially the ones that I know, Amy Keating Rogers, Mando Mommy, Brony Mommy, happy Mother's Day to you all from all of us here at the MBS show. And Thank all you, you happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Love you all. Happy Mother's <laughs> Day, even though this show comes out on Tuesday, which kind of missed the timing. But hey, Mother's Day. It's happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> I, know, I kind of keep forgetting Mother's Day, but I never always forget the bunch of roses I get from my mom. Especially chocolates. So it's always nice to have a nice rose. Diet chocolates and the rocks and bath. So, yeah, uh, that's always needed. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. Or if you want to email me personally, you can contact me at norman at the MBS show.com. And Daniel, you can reach him at daniel at the MBS show.com. And you could also reach us on Twitter. The show's account is at the MBS show. And I'm at Norman Sanzo. I'm at St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. And Nathan, do you have Twitter? Yes, I do. Um, mine is at Shikari Speeder, a.k.a. my OC Pony name, <laughs> as always. And also I have DeviantArt, which is shikarispeeder.deviantart.com. Uh, always have a check on there because I love updated artwork as much as many as I possibly can. So I'll let you know through Twitter and hopefully on DeviantArt. And also I have a Tumblr, which I've only barely started, so which I only put on... Uh, Kitties and Mimi's OC Pony posters on there. So it's just Shikari Speeder. I think it's Tumblr.com, I think. But just find Shikari Speeder. I'm around. Fast Pony's got to be everywhere. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Links will be provided in the show notes. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. And I'm Shikari Speeder. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Now, my little abomination, we'll have our time together soon enough. You just need to be a good girl and wait for Daddy Disco. After all, good things come to those who wait. Or in this case, something quite chaotic. (laughs) That sounds so cruel. I love it.
Great ones fall to pieces through discord. 